And Aucklanders have been told a 25.8% water rates hike could be coming in July. But the government says it will pass legislation that will ensure affordable water charges for Aucklanders. Laura Tupo reports. At a time when everything seems to be getting more and more expensive, water could now be added to Aucklanders' lists. Watercare advised ratepayers an increase of up to 25.8% could be introduced from July in order to run the business. 30 odd thousand houses are already behind in mortgages. That's not a good, you don't want to load those people anymore. Mayor Wayne Brown says the increasing price path is unacceptable and the figure should be closer to the expected rates increase of 7%. It means you won't be able to do some of the things that you want to do. But not everything is going to break in the next year and so there must be some things they can not do. We know that our water infrastructure in Auckland is ageing. I don't think we can uh, make cuts or take the time uh, to fix the infrastructure that we need. Watercare's board chair said in a statement the board had to balance the vital need to invest in new water and wastewater infrastructure with council's directives to maintain a debt-to-revenue ratio of 340%. Watercare knows Aucklanders are struggling and want to reassure people that central and local government are working together to achieve a financially sustainable model. Labor's Auckland Issues spokesperson says the three water legislation proposed by the last government would have avoided the situation. That meant that Aucklanders wouldn't have had to pay the additional fees that we're seeing. So, you know, I'm really concerned that what we're seeing from this government is more expenses and leaving local government out to dry. No, I disagree completely. Uh, under our plan, um, rates uh, and water rates will be lower than maintaining the status quo. Local government minister Simeon Brown says work is being done to ensure affordable water charges for Aucklanders and that Cabinet has agreed those changes will be included in the Transitional Provisions Bill, which will be passed through Parliament in the middle of this year meaning there is light at the end of the tunnel for Aucklanders who may avoid the hike altogether. Laura Tupo, News Hub.